Hello everyone, welcome to our English lesson. So the activity for today will be fill in the blank and the title will be future will, future be going to and future perfect simple. All right? The first one, future will. The word will is used for predictions. Okay? Predictions ataupun andaian. For example, I'm sure she'll pass the exam. So, the word she'll is she will. Anda membuat andaian bahawa dia akan lulus exam tersebut. Alright, number two, promises, janji. For example, I'll never do that again. The word I'll is I will. So, anda membuat perjanjian untuk tidak melakukan perkara tersebut lagi the third one will is used for offers and requests ok, tawaran dan permintaan offers for example, I'll drive you to the station, the word I'll will be I will anda membuat tawaran untuk membawa seseorang itu ke station number Two example will be request. Permintaan. Will you help me clean the kitchen? In other words, you can say, Can you help me clean the kitchen? Alright. And the fourth usage for the word will is threats or warnings. Ancaman atau amaran. For example, don't say that again. Or, I'll punish you. I'll means I will. Don't say that again or I will punish you. And the fifth one, on the spot decisions. Okay, keputusan yang dibuat pada masa tersebut. For example, I won't buy it. It's too expensive. So the word won't will be I will not buy it. It's too expensive. These are the usage of the word will. Let's move on to future be going to. Alright, this word be going to is used to make future plans untuk membuat rancangan masa depan. For example, Ron is going to study astronomy. This means that Ron will plan to study astronomy. Okay, number two. The word be going to is to make prediction based on evidence. Ramalan berdasarkan keterangan. For example, look at that runner. He's going to win the race. So the word he's going to means he is going to win the race. You predict that the runner is going to win the race because he is number one. Anda membuat ramalan bahawa runner tersebut akan memenangi Pelumbaan tersebut Next one Future perfect simple This is used for actions that will be completed before a specific time okay? Tindakan yang akan selesai sebelum masa tertentu The next one It is another action in the future Sesuatu tindakan pada masa yang akan datang future so for example time expressions that you can use are by the time dot 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 by then blank before blank for example he'll have finished reading the book before you arrive tomorrow so the action here is that he will finish reading the book when before you arrive tomorrow okay let's continue so open your textbook page 53 and you can see this grammar section below right this is on page 53 so write this in your grammar book again for the activity and the title this is the title Write it in your index and the date for today. Alright, 
now let's go to this box this small box and read future will for example don't walk to school i'll give you a lift so i will give you a lift john will pass the exam he's an excellent student future be going to for example helena's going to study biology at university helena is going to and the second example i didn't do well in my exams i'm going to get bad marks the third one future perfect simple for example hopefully by 8 o'clock i will have finished my homework so the time here is by 8 o'clock all right let's do the first question complete with the correct future form of the verbs in brackets question 1 a my mobile phone keeps turning off for no reason b says don't worry i blank you a new one and the word in this blank should have include by so what should you write here yes you use the word will because you are making a promise to buy your friend a new one okay as you can see here the word will you use for promises all right second question come round my house at about 6 p.m i home by then what do you think the answer is for number two yes so the answer here will also use the word will you can say i will have arrived home by then all right so the answer for this will be i will have arrived home by then you put the past tense in the word arrived because you are making a prediction okay Prediction, Anda membuat andaian bahawa Anda akan sudah tiba di rumah. Question 3. Look out that you blank crash into that tree. Now, what do you think the answer is for question 3? Yes, you use the word you are going to crash. You are going to crash into that tree. So you use the word going to because you are making a prediction based on evidence. Alright, Anda membuat ramalan berdasarkan keterangan. That is why you say you are going to crash into that tree. Question 4. A. What plans have you got for Saturday? B. I. Blank. My cousins in Oxford. Now can you guess what is the answer for question 4? Yes, the answer you will use is going to as well. So you say, I am going to visit my cousins in Oxford. You use the word going to because you are making a future plan. Anda membuat rancangan masa depan untuk melawat saudara Anda di Oxford. Question 5. Watch this DVD. I'm sure you blank enjoy it. Now, can you think what is the correct answer here? Yes, 
you use the word will. So you use the word will, enjoy it because you are making a prediction. Anda membuat andaian bahawa kawan anda akan suka DVD yang anda berikan. Alright, number six. Kevin loves eating sweets. By the time you come home, he blank eat all the chocolate bars that are in the fridge. Now, what do you think the answer is for question six? Yes, you will use the word will again because you are making another prediction. So, you say he will have eaten all the chocolate bars that are in the fridge. You are making a prediction that Kevin will finish all the chocolate bars in the fridge by the time you come home. Question 7. I believe robots blank do all the work in factories in the future. Now, can you think of the right answer for question 7? Yes, you use the word will. You are doing a prediction. Anda membuat andaian bahawa semua robot akan melakukan kerja di kilang pada masa depan. Alright, last question. Number 8. Nigel blank not return home by lunchtime so don't wait for him can you think of the right answer for question eight yes you will say will not have written all right because you know that nigel is not coming home so you don't have to wait for him this is for on the spot decision okay you know that nigel won't be home so you don't have to wait for him all right we are done for this grammar exercise don't forget to copy all of this into your grammar book now let's move on to the next title all both neither none and either so the activity will be the same fill in the blank and the title will be different all, both, neither, none, either. Right, for the first one, all. This is used for more than two people or things. Okay, lebih daripada dua orang atau benda. For example, Anne, Mary, and Chris are going to a concert. They are all very excited. Now the word all here refers to Anne, Mary, and Chris. Alright? The second one, both. This is used for two people. Dua orang. Okay? You see the difference here? The word all is for people or things. The word both is for people. For example, Bill and Ted are cousins. Both of them are in a team. So the word both here refers to Bill and Ted. Alright, for number three, neither. Okay, so there's two pronunciation for this. The British and the American pronunciation. So for the British, which we are using, you will pronounce it as Neither. Neither. Now follow me. Neither. Okay. This word is used for two people. Dua orang. The meaning of this word is not one or the other of the two people. Okay. Bukan salah seorang daripada dua orang itu. For example, Patty and Monica want to get a cat. Neither of them has had a pet before. So the word neither here refers to Patty and Monica. Okay? 
The fourth one, none. None. This is used for more than two people or things. Lebih daripada dua orang atau benda. The meaning of this word is not one or any. Bukan salah seorang daripada sekumpulan orang itu. For example, All my friends love pop music. None of them likes jazz. The word none here refers to nobody. Okay? None of my friends love jazz. Number five. Either. Again, this has two pronunciation, the British and American pronunciation. We are using the British pronunciation which is either. Either. Repeat after me, either. Alright, this word is used for two people or things. Dua orang atau benda. The meaning is one or both. Salah satu atau kedua-dua. For example, should we order Italian or Chinese? B says, either, I don't mind. The word either here refers to both Italian or Chinese is acceptable. I don't mind. Now, open up your textbook, page 55, and you can see this grammar section. Right? Textbook, page 55, you will see this grammar section. Right, let's see this little box here. Again, there are explanation of all the four words which you can read by yourself here. And we will move on to the activity. Alright, the fill in the blank. First question. The fans are angry because the team has lost blank of its games this season. The players are disappointed but blank of them won to talk about it. Now, can you guess what are the two words here? Yes, for the first word will be all and the second word will be none. So, it goes like this. The fans are angry because the team has lost all of its games this season. The players are disappointed, but none of them wants to talk about it. Question 2. We could blank walk to school or go by bus. What do you think? Now, can you think of the answer for question 2? Yes, the answer is both. So it goes like this. We could both walk to school or go by bus. What do you think? Let's move on to question 3. A. Do you use the computer to do your homework or do you write it by hand? B. I do blank. It depends on which subject it is. What do you think the answer is for Question 3 Yes, the answer is the same as question 2 Right? I do both It depends on which subject it is Question 4 In my opinion, history is Blank Interesting Nor useful I don't know why we have to study it. What do you think the answer is for question 4? Yes, the answer is neither. In my opinion, history is 
neither interesting nor useful. I don't know why we have to study it. Alright, the last question number 5. Blank, Angela and Edna had the soup of the day, but blank of them liked it. What do you think the answer is for number 5? Yes, the first answer will be both, and the second answer will be neither. So, question 5 will be, both Angela and Edna had the soup of the day, but neither of them liked it. Alright, we are done for today's exercises. Don't forget to do this in your grammar book. I will see you again in the next lesson. Goodbye everyone.